Hi guys, so it's David here. So uh, today we're going to create a login menu, not login menu, but a log login pop-up. So for example, if you click this, it's going to pop up. Uh, let me show you what I mean. I don't know why this thing is still slow. <laughs> okay, so let me take this thing off. So here, if I click this, it's going to give us this pop-up where people can log into your system. And if they don't have a email account, I mean email or account on your system, they can create one here. But if they already have one, then they can go here. Or if they forgot their password, then they can just do this. Okay. So that's what that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, so let's start. So first, what I did there is a here is a repeating group, oh, but. Let's create create this from scratch. Okay, so I'm going to delete this. So if you just create a new page, which is mine is just index. Uh, when you create a page, you will have to convert this to uh, responsive. So let me show it to you guys so I, you guys know what I'm talking about. So sample. I'm just going to call it sample page. So when I create that, if you double click this and go to layout, I guess hmm, you don't have to upgrade the, the page anymore. Before you have to upgrade the responsive one, but here it's still fixed. So you, you want this to be column. So that's the only stuff you need to change because when it's fixed, when you put text here for example it's going to be like floating and you don't want that that's going to be harder that's that's the old bubble settings but now you just want this to be thick i mean columns so everything is top stack on top of each other right so let's go back to the index we're just going to create like a menu on top anyway so if I go index, so here I set this thing up to be fourteen uh, hundred, and I'm I'm putting at some minimum of three three twenty because that's the mi minimum for mobile. Okay, I'm I put it as fourteen forty just to have enough room uh to play with but usually the standard you you want to maximize your menu so that it's going to be in the middle to 1200 so i'm going to show you guys how to do that so now we're just going to insert uh a menu on top so it's going to be a floating group so if you go here floating group And you want the floating group container to be row because you're going to be having menu side by side. Okay. So I want this uh, width to be going all the way on the page. It depends, whatever depends on the screen size you have. But I want this to be fixed to 80 height. Okay. So I'm, I'm just going to put it fix. Okay. So that's the header. We're going to call that header. And inside that header, I will put another group. So this one now is just a regular group. And I'm going to put, so again, the, the alignment in that container is a row. But I'm going to show you guys later why is that. So here, this is where I'm going to put my 1200. 
max. So it's going to be in the middle of the page. And I'm going to put this, this one aligned to the middle. So now this thing is in the middle, vertically and horizontally. Okay. And I want the height here. to be zero and actually right now let's just put 80 for now so it's going to be on top of to the on top and bottom because there's nothing in there right so also just if you guys can see these boxes here there's like blue lines here to turn that on just put grid show element border because if you don't have this it's going to be confusing because you're like where's where's my box so at least here if you turn that thing on and color it with obvious color right now i just put it like that bright blue so i know that there's one box here and there's another one there i'm going to call this inner inner header Okay, so let's color this. I mean, okay, let, let me change the color of that to 5% just to show you. How is this going to look like? Okay, so right now we don't have anything yet, but what I'm saying is that your logo is going to be here and your login is going to be here. It's not going to be on the very end. Because sometimes maybe you you have like a 4K and it's really big, so your menu is going to be on the very end. But I think design-wise, it's better to have them in the middle. So that's why I'm doing this. But it's your preference. You can expand this there. You can just take this thing off. Uh, it's up to you. It's a, it's a design choice, right? If you want your logo to be on the very end here and your login to be on the very end there, you can do that but for me i'm just putting that 1200 so it's in the middle so now we can put a text here and we can call this cash flow i'm just making this as uh, the name of the company you can name it as you, whatever you want and i'm gonna use the logo uh style if we go to edit that style, that logo style is, uh, the font is enter and the font size is 20. And the thickness it's I put it as 900, the thickest one. And I just make this as black color and spacing 1.5, okay? So I think that's the, that's the only, uh settings i have there so if you want to copy that uh, you can just check my settings here and put it on yours so now here we can put this in the middle and i'm gonna put another button which is the login button on the right side this one i'm gonna put log in i'm gonna put this is in the middle so in order for uh for this to to be pushed on the side i'm gonna use this space between so it's gonna be the logo is gonna it's gonna be on the left side the login is gonna be on the right so let me format this login Usually I make it fit and I'll just put 32 on each side. And I want this to be 48. And the roundness is, usually I use eight. If you look at my previous video, I'm using the 10 pixel matrix uh i 
I changed that now to to the bootstrap rule. So it's all eight, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, or twenty-four, or twelve. It's it's divisible by four. Okay, so it depends on what kind of spacing do you need. So I'm using that. Before I'm using like five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Uh, now I'm because that's the most website and design work. They're using the the eight pixel rule so that's what i'm following anyway let's see what we have here so now if we go the smallest one we don't want that to be touching there right so we want to put a padding on the left and right I'm just going to use 16. So now we have this. Yeah, so if you have a iPad Pro, it's going to look like this. Uh, if you have a, the smallest one, which is E, S, E, or if you have a desktop, bigger, bigger size. Okay. So that's the menu. Now let me change back the color of the background here to white. So this is how it's gonna look like, right? On your website. Okay, let's create the pop-up. So if I go back here, move myself on the right side, I'm gonna use a pop-up. First, I will make this, again, column, because we're going to create on top of each other. So a login, a sign up, and a reset your password, right? So let me see. So if we click this, I want this to be 576 and let's just make this for now 700 so that we have room to play with here and again I'm still using the padding here from before so I'm gonna edit the style of my pop-up I'm going to make this 32. And if, and I'm going to make a condition here. When the page width is equal to the tablet, right? The 992. Actually, that's a new feature of Bubble now. They're giving you all this break uh, points. They don't have the 576, which is another in between this and that. But you can just use this 99, which is a tablet size. So when this thing is, when the size of the screen is equal or less than that, I'm going to put padding top, padding bottom, padding left. to 16. I'm applying this to the style. So when you create a pop-up, the style is going to be there. So you don't have to do it over and over again. Right. And the style here is just a blur, right? So the background. Okay. And the roundness, I'm going to put this as eight. So if we go back here, so that's our pop-up. So let's start creating this. So first I'm going to put the icon to close. So if you want to close this pop up, you can just do that. So icon. Mm, I'm just looking at my old settings here. Okay. So I want this to be twenty. 
by 20. So it's like 16 plus 4, then 20. So you can do that. Uh, close. Just going to use that X there. And I'm going to align this to the right. Okay, and then I'm going to put a title here. So if you're logging in, we want to welcome you back, right? So welcome back. I want this to be... I'm going to use this uh, style, the 20, 25 pixel title. And I want this to be expanding all the way. So I'm going to take off all this. And I want this to fit there. And I'm going to change this to middle. Okay. So that's the title. So now, what I'm going to do here, I'm usually you want to put a text here, then the, the input button. We're just going to use just the input. And so we're making our app very minimalistic. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So this one, I'm expanding it all the way. Right. And this one's 48. And here, this is the email. This is the sign in number. No, no login email. I'm naming this. So when you do the work flow, you know, which one are you? you're referring it to because you're going to have a login input login email and you're going to have a sign in email and you're going to have a reset email okay so now here let's just put this as email and let's format this as email again let me change this the format here I want this to be 16. And the border is going to be 1. Black color, but 10%. So it's like gray. And when they click that, it's going to turn to black 100%. And if the, if it's invalid, then it's going to show red on that. So that's the format of this. So now let's create another one, which, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click this control D. So basically I just copied that. I'm going to use this login password. And I'm going to use the password and type password here. And now I'm going to add a button, which again, I'm going to say login. Again, we're going to expand this from um, 48. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click all this. So basically, I, I click the text, I press shift key, and I still on the shift, click it again, click it again. So basically, you're selecting all of them, then right click, and I want them in a column container, okay? So now this is a one group now, instead of a separate group. So if you, if you go on the side here, that's our pop-up, inside, is group B and I'm going to call this login group. Okay. So in that login group, I want to put some spaces in between maybe eight, no, 16. Actually, I'm, I'll make that third 24. But I want this two to be grouped in column again, and I'm going to call that 
input group login input and I'm gonna put a space in between eight okay I think 32 is a better spacing here and here it's 16. So let's do, let's try to see this one first before we add more stuff. So first to trigger that, because that, that thing's not going to pop up unless you trigger it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a workflow here. Click and then show the pop-up A, because that's the name of that pop-up, right? Pop-up A. So I'm just going to put pop-up A. Okay. Let's, okay, let's see this. Let's refresh. And there you go. I don't really like this part right here when you click outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trigger. I want it so when they click it, it's not going to close but they have to click this. So basically you're, you're instructing, you're giving the user in specific instruction on your app so that there's not, there's not a lot of confusion. Like sometimes when you're doing like a, a workflow and if they click out, then maybe that workflow is not gonna kick in. It's just gonna create some problems. So I want it, to be more specific so if i want them to close this i want it to close i don't want them to click outside okay so in order to do that if you go to that pop-up mm, where is that setting pop-up and if i go It's interesting why they didn't have it here. Okay, let me let me find that out and I'll I'll let you guys know later. But usually if you have a pop up here there's an option where oh here this pop-up cannot be closed by pressing escape meaning if they press escape on the keyboard or click outside so earlier when we did this let me show it to you when you log in and i click outside here it that pop-up is closed right so now if i click turn this thing on if I click there if I click outside it's not closing it so now this thing won't close because we don't have a trigger here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a workflow here out of workflow and say hide pop up when that thing is closed I click okay so now you can just refresh this page so now if i click here this thing's not going to close but when i click the x it will close okay so that's the reason why i want that thing there so let's add actually the remember me checkbox here and the forget password so let's see if i add a text here in the middle I'm just going to put remember, not text. I'm going to put this forgot your password. 
And I'm going to make that not expand all the way, but fit with the content. Okay. So now it's going to give us that and not this one also. I'm going to delete all the settings there. But fit height the content. So now, so now we need the checkbox. So if you go back here and let's go find the checkbox. And I'm going to put it here. And I want that to say, remember. Remember me. And I'm going to default it as check. Okay. And again, we're going to make this minimum zero, fit with the content, and take off that height. And now we can group these two. Again, click, shift, click then group it now we want them to be row because they're going to be on the row right and again for this one i wanted to expand space in between there and i want this on the bottom so next there okay so if you go So that's how it's going to look like. Okay. And when you, so if you look at the spacing here, it's 32 right now, because our width is 1612. But our break point, if you remember, is 12, no, 992. So if you go 992, the, if you look at this 992, it's going to go to 16. Okay, so when you're in mobile, it's going to look, you have more spaces. Okay. So now there's a problem here. If you look at this in mobile, that's not good and responsive, right? So let's fix that first. So right now that's 14, I want this page width, when page width is equal to, let's find the breakpoints, maybe 780, 768. I want I want the font size to be twelve. Same with this thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it here. Okay. So now if we go there, the font size become smaller once we hit that breakpoint, which is 768. 768. There. So when you go on the very small, it's still going to fit. Okay. So let's go back and create the other stuff. So now I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is this pop up here. I'm going to change the size for now to 1200. So we have a space there. So now this is going to be a quick one. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select this group. So if I, if you look at this. If I can display it again, but I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. 
So this login group, if I select this whole group right here, and I just do control D, I just duplicated that. So if you look at it, it's login copy. So now I'm going to name this a sign in. Sign, no, sign up. And I'm just going to rename this to create an account. If I can spell, create an account. So now this email, I'm going to change, I'm going to relabel this. This is going to make sense when we create the, the workflow as sign up. I'm just going to select that copy and the password. Sign up and here sign up and then I want I don't want this anymore because that's not relevant to this pop-up and now I'm just gonna select this control D and I want this to be a password confirmation I'm just gonna call this sign up confer confirmation and I'm just going to put this confirm password. Okay, so that's the group right here. And on the bottom, actually, I forgot here. I'm going to add a text on the very bottom of both. So if I just go put it outside here. Okay, undo. Okay, what did I just do? <laughs> Log in. That's weird because if you cannot undo, usually, why is it not doing undo? I thought that's the reason why we have this. But anyway, let me fix this. Uh, login group. Rendering error. Okay, let me refresh the page. Sometimes when you're on that page for a long, long time, you have to refresh it once in a while. So now, now it's there. So it's a glitch, I guess. So now we have this group and that group. Okay. And I want to add a text on the bottom of this login to switch if they don't have an account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm just going to click text and insert it on the very top here. And, and I'm just gonna put, create an account. Again, let's just make this in the middle. Take this thing off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna center this text and I'm gonna make this last meaning it's going to be last on this group, right? This is going to make sense later because we're, we're just going to make it. So when you click first, it's just going to show this top. And if you don't have an account, when you click this, it's going to turn this thing off and it's going to show the one on the bottom. Okay. So I'm just going to copy this and see if I can paste it in here which is okay it's good to paste it on the bottom and i'm gonna have i'm gonna just change this to already have an account already have an account then you can just log in there okay let's just see this 
so now it's just showing that right both of them but after we set this thing up it's just going to show one at a time so let's create the third one which is the reset your password so i think the easiest one here is again just copy this duplicate it and it's good it's just put it on the very end so now i'm gonna name this as group as forgot password okay and i'm just gonna do password reset okay and i'm just gonna do this back to log in delete that and we only need the email and now since there's only one there i don't need that extra group because i only have one element so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna drag this outside and I'm going to delete that group. Okay. So that's... Now I'm going to name this to... Reset. Password. Email. Reset password email, okay? So now we have the login, the create, and the reset password. Okay, now we can delete this to fit everything on the page. So how are we going to make this turn on and off? Uh, for here, we're going to use what they call custom state. So if I put a custom state here, I'm just going to put custom state. I'm just going to name it log in sign up. It's going to be the name of that custom state. I created an option set for this so it's it's easier for you. Uh I'm going to show you how to create that but that's the reason why I'm uh selecting this so i'm just going to use that right and i'm going to use meaning sign in first so it, this is going to be on first so let, let me show you how to create the, the option set so if you go here option set basically it's just a permanent not i mean this thing cannot be edited by your users only you the developer can edit this so this is like choices that either you can use it for the app or you can ask user to use it for, for you on the app, but they cannot edit this. It's, it's like a permanent uh, options for them. So what I did is I created this. In order to create this, you just have to create a new option here, which is I name it as that. All my options set, I, this is a, personal preference i put underscore so i know what option set is and, and i know what a data type is it's just a regular uh text there so option set is under so i created this and i put the login that i need to use to sign up and the reset okay so to create more option you just have to create a new option here okay so now for that pop-up we created that state which i called you can call this anything you want but i'm just calling it as this so the login sign up state and i'm using this option set which is login sign up state and i'm making as default as login okay so when they load this page this will show the login first okay so in order to do that is if we go to this 
group. That's the reason why I grouped this, so you, we can turn them on and off. So now this group, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a option here. So log in. Log in. Okay, let me see. Hold on. So when this group, no, no, no. We're using this, the pop-up. I'm using the pop-up state. So I'm saying if the pop-up custom state is sign log in, I want this to be visible, okay? And I'm gonna show you what uh, later. I mean, okay, so now we want this to be hidden every time this thing is lo loaded. So I'm gonna make this element visible. This element is visible on page load. I don't want that. So it's not gonna show. And I want this collapse when hidden. So basically, it's not going to give you a space there. It's just going to collapse the whole thing, right? So if I click that, I'm going to show you later what the effect of this, but let's just set everything up so that the, all of them are hidden when it's loaded unless the sign in custom state is login or sign up or reset. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to select this group. I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to change this to sign up. Again, here, this group, this whole group right here, I'm going to paste this. I'm going to change this to reset, right? And I'm going to change for it to not to load and collapse. Same with this. So it's hidden when it's collapsed. So let's see. If we load this thing, the reason why it's showing the login only, because when we set up our custom state here on this pop-up, we, we put a default here. So if I put none here, it's going to just show blank. So now that we have a default, it's going to show us login, right? So I want it to be default as login because what we're clicking here is a login button, right? So it's going to default to login. And to trigger the other one, we're going to have to make a workflow here. So when they click this, it's going to turn on this one right here. And if they click this, forgot password, it's going to trigger this. Okay. So let's do that workflow. So first, if they click this, Add a workflow. So what I, what we're doing is we're just changing the state set state of what of which uh, state are we changing the pop up the pop up a right, and we're changing the login sign up state to sign up. Okay, so when they click this. Basically, it's changing the state to this to sign up. So now if, if the state is sign up, we set this group to be visible when, when the state is sign up. Okay. So let's do that for now. Every time you change something on your app, it's better to test it if it's working instead of doing a lot of stuff. So it's e it's easier where to track where you made a mistake. So here, if I click this, 
this one is not it's not working yet anything here is not working yet okay all the only thing that's working here is this when you click this it's gonna give you this page or group and now we can do the same here so when they click this it's gonna switch to this uh, sign in so if i click click this uh, text i'm gonna add a work flow and again we're just changing the state of the pop-up and the state is login sign up and we're changing it to login okay so now let's try that again so when you click that the div the default is sign in so now you're in sign in but if you're new to, to the app and you want to create an account you click this and it's going to give you this okay and now oh i already have an account so i'm just going to click this back to this okay and if you forgot your password then if you click this then we we need to create the trigger also and now let's create a workflow for that again we're just going to set the state of that pop-up to reset because this group right here is going to be visible when that state is reset okay so let's now let's try okay so now we have this we know that this works you have an account this is the login oh i don't have an account you can create a new account here and if you forgot your password you can just click this and it's just going to give you this password now if you want to go back to log in, you need to, we need to do another trigger here to change the state to log in. So if now if we click this and add another workflow and we're changing the state of the dot pop up and log in, sign in and we're going back to login okay so when they click this it's gonna turn this thing on okay let's do that again so now okay i need to create an account okay fine now you can create an account i want to create i mean i already have an account now you can log in you forgot your password you can go back here and we're going to add the workflow later and now you can go back to login in there okay i think for now let's just stop here i'm going to create another video for for the work walk, walk through for this i think it's getting longer but uh yeah i'm going to post the the other video for for making all this workflow okay guys if you guys have any question just let me know thanks